So a militarily, let, let me go back to this, a militarily useful first generation, that's Fat Man, nuclear explosive with reactor grade plutonium can, de can be designed to produce a nuclear yield in the multi kiloton range. So in Fat Man, that was typically, that was about 20 kilotons using weapons grade plutonium. With reactor grade plutonium, the minimum possible yield from that implosion, that yield down in the lower left-hand corner of the previous view graph, is a kiloton. That's non-trivial. That would have the destructive radius of about a third of the Hiroshima explosion, which was a roughly a 15 kiloton explosion. Um, that is not a trivial or a failed nuclear weapon. That is a nuclear weapon. Next view graph. All plutonium isotopes can be used directly in nuclear explosives. In fact, in 1962, the United States tested a nuclear explosive made with reactor-grade plutonium. It worked just fine, thank you. There is no such thing as non-weapons usable plutonium. Denatured plutonium doesn't exist. That is plutonium unsuitable for a nuclear explosive. And a high plutonium-240 content, which all of those uh, advocates, uh, nuclear power advocates uh, talked about, it's not a impediment to making a nuclear weapon. It's simply an engineering complication. Next view graph, please. So getting back to where we started here from the uh, United States Department of Energy, a nuclear weapon from reactor grade plutonium would have an assured reliable yield of one or a few kilotons and a most probable yield, the yield you'd really have to worry about, significantly higher than one. Unfortunately, I can't tell you how much higher, but it's significantly higher. And an advanced nuclear weapons state uh, using technologies that are not particularly fancy, like the United States, Russia, China, UK, France, most likely Japan, uh, could produce a wep weapons from reactor grade plutonium having reliable explosive yields, weights, and character general weapons characteristics comparable to those of stockpile weapons made from plutonium today. 